This survey was just published this morning from the CDC, and before today, the government estimated that one in 88 children has autism. But according to this latest survey, that estimate is now one in 50. This information is based on a survey of more than 95,000 parents between 2011 and 2012. Researchers say this one is actually providing a better snapshot compared to the old survey, the one that came up with that one in 88 number, because that one was only based on children who were eight years old, and this survey included all school-aged kids. The CDC points out just because the number of kids being diagnosed with autism is higher than before, it doesn't necessarily mean that autism is becoming more common. Over the past decade, the definition of autism has changed, and it now includes children who may have milder symptoms. Still, this new estimate means at least one million children and their families are affected by this disorder. And this is extremely important information because government leaders look at how common a disorder or an illness is when they decide how to spend public health funds. That's the latest in the newsroom. Kelly McDermott, 7 Action News.